Well, this is right now in Frisco. You're having a great year. Uh, in your 31 innings pitched, you've only given up 17 hits, struck out 28 guys. Can you talk about your development after last year, somewhat having a year off? I know that you were pitching a little bit um, at the, what do they call it, the practice Alternate team. site. Yeah, yeah, alternate site. But this year, getting back in, uh, you're having a very good year at AA. Can you talk about your development and, and what you've been able to accomplish since the last time you pitched uh, in 2019? Yeah, um, I mean, 2019 was was tough because I wasn't I wasn't fully myself in 2019 because I was going out there pitching hurt every single time I went out there. Um, I had bone spurs in the back of my elbow every single start in 2019, so I couldn't fully throw my slider without my elbow hurting. So I just went out there with a fastball and change up every single start and tried to grind my way through it. Um, and this year, I mean, I'm just fully healthy. My arm feels great. And our pitching coach up here, uh, Jeff Andrews, has been a big help for me. Um, really puts in his time to invest with the guys. And um, we just made some minor adjustments on my slider. Um I almost just, like, I changed my grip on it a little bit uh, just to a traditional cut fastball grip, but it's still, it basically just comes out as, like, um, a upper 80s power slider now instead of, like, my bigger, slower one I threw. And um, it's just helped me a lot because everything I throw out of my slot, it just, it comes out violent and, and hard. So when I was throwing my bigger slider, uh, hitters were kind of picking it up right away because they would see it out of the hand. And now with this, I just call it, I, I call it a cutter, but it Jeff says it's a bigger slot or a tighter slider. Um, and with this new one, it just, hitters aren't picking it up. It just looks like fastball. And then right when it gets to home plate, it's just diving off. So that pitch has been a big help for me. Um, I'm continuing to make a lot of progress with my changeup, and um, it's become a really good third pitch for me. And then I started throwing a um, a sinker as well. So been make been making a lot of adjustments and uh, adding some new pitches to my arsenal, and uh, just seeing seeing where I can go from there. Rangers uh, prospect and gas bringer Hans Kraus joining us here on I the like KNC that. Masterpiece on 105.3 The Fan. And my, my co-host Mike Bassick, you know, when he pitched in the major leagues, he was pitching in the 80s, not in the 1980s, Mike. You're not that old right. yet. But he was pitching <laughs> in like the, you know, 80s, mid-80s area. And mm -hmm. you bring a 92, 97 mile an hour fastball and you attack the strike zone. Is is your, your confidence in attacking the strike zone? Is it because you know you can put that heat in at any point? Or is that just something like you've grown up knowing, hey, I got to throw strikes up there? Um, no, I definitely don't think it's from throwing, from throwing hard. I just think uh, if you want to be a starting pitcher in this, in this industry, um, strike, strike, strike. Like you have to throw strikes. Um, I just hate walking guys. I really do. It bothers me more than anything in this game. Um, and I just think because what, like, this is the first level where people are, people are on your fastball. It don't, it doesn't matter how hard you throw and people can recognize a good fastball and hit it. And, um, I think, I think his strike zone ability with me has come from, uh, just simplifying my mechanics a little bit. And uh, just have, having that mentality that, like, hey, I'm going to, if they hit it, they hit it. Uh, more often than not, it's going to find somebody's glove. So I just do my best to fill up the zone and uh, get my team off the field as quick as possible. I know, obviously, you have your dreams and aspirations. I was kind of curious, at longtime Rangers fans around here know that we have struggled to develop pitchers is that like something that people are aware of in the rangers organization is it ever talked about or are you like yeah that was in the past like we're trying to turn a new page and not be known for that anymore um 
it's definitely been brought up before by guys for sure. Um, it's a hard topic to avoid, if I'm being honest. Um, that, I mean, everyone is always, uh, whether it's like writers, bloggers, everyone is always tweeting about how we haven't had a homegrown ace or homegrown pitching, like pitcher for the Rangers developed in years. So it's kind of a tough thing to ignore. Um, I'm just trying my best this year to just kind of block out the noise and uh, just play my game and pitch my game and um, have the rest take care of itself and see where I end up.